How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sports.com. Going to turn Sunday, August the 14th, as we get this video to you. Have your free pick winner in just a second today. Your free pick winner today is going to be between uh, the Chicago Sky and the Phoenix Mercury. And that game goes off at 5 p.m. Eastern today. In addition to that, we also have a lean on uh, the Pirates and Giants later today as well. And uh, YouTube Premium is between Seattle and Vegas and the Yankees and Red Sox today. Hello, I am Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Nice winner yesterday on the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Doc Sports has been around for 52 years, and Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years and 7 months now. How this works is our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Indian Cowboy. Our next best selections are our YouTube Premium selections, which we give you two thoughts every single day on a separate video. And including a live show once a week, we're trying to make that twice a week. But you get over 100 selections off for just $20 a month, which is a great deal. And uh, you can check out the YouTube Premium on the link below. It's uh, in the comments section, the link there. Free $60 for the Premium Picks as well. That link is there. And uh, our final best selections are our Free Picks and Leans, which is what this video you're watching. And we do that every single day. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics, and uh, that's where, how our algorithms are based out of. Uh, so what's up in our neck of the woods? Well, we have a seven-unit WNBA selection today, uh, which we're excited about. That goes off at 7 Eastern. Join us for that. We are on a 6-1 and one WNBA run. We're on a plus 4,000. WNBA run. I think we're going to make it a seven and one run. We have won three or four winning seasons, so there's uh, there's no surprise that we've made a run at it. We won our five unit on Friday on New York over Atlanta on the New York Liberty over Atlanta. Nice ten point winner. I think we're going to have a nice winner today. A nice seven unit winner today on Sunday. Baseball, we're still over 62% on the season in baseball, plus 10,400. We dropped our top play yesterday, but hopefully we'll try to bounce back today. Again, we're 62%. I have, feel pretty good about our baseball selection. Football, another great winner yesterday. We're 3-1 and one to start the football season. We were number one in Doc Sports last year in football, plus 5,900. Sorry, plus 5,400. Three and one start of the football season. Great winner on the Panthers, two-unit selection yesterday. We also had the Giants this week, too. And we have a nice two-unit uh, football selection today and the last NFL preseason game of the week on the Giants in Vegas. Looking forward to go 3-1 and one this football week. Don't forget, we went, again, number one in Doc Sports in football last year. We went 59% in football, and uh, we're excited about football this year. So join us for the football season, for the baseball season, plus 10,465, 62%. Soccer, 6-2 and two run for plus 1370 as we continue to roll there. And WNBA, you know, you're talking about a 6-1 and one run and a plus 43 run, uh, plus 43 run, plus 4,300 run overall. And then golf, two selections today. UFC fight night, plus 300 last week, 12 and four run now with seven unit selections. And don't forget hockey, we posted plus about 5,000 last year, back-to-back -back winning seasons. Sorry, we posted plus 8,000 last year and plus 5,000 the year before. So plus 13,000 the last two years, roughly. Excited about the hockey season. Your free play today after a nice free play winner yesterday. I like the Chicago Sky in the WNBA minus the points. I think it's a great opportunity for them to bounce back here. Remember, Chicago uh, lost uh, to Phoenix earlier this year. Chicago comes off back-to-back -back losses. They are the defending champs. So obviously, you know this team could get up to face Chicago, and I get that. And the line is dropping, which kind of makes me want to change my play <laughs> um, because the public is on them. So give me a second here while I look at something here. And I'm going to change the play to the under. So I'm going to, we're going to go with Chicago and Phoenix under, and I'll tell you why. And that current line right now, that's why you got to listen to the whole video. But I like the under 165 between Chicago and Phoenix. Look, Chicago comes off back-to-back -back losses, right? They gave up 111 points to Seattle and 89 points to Las Vegas. Typically, they don't do that. Last time they gave up, um, they typically don't lose three in a row. So I do think they'll cover this game. But I'll take the under only because Phoenix really needs this game. They just beat Dallas 86-74. to 74. They have a lot of young uh, talent that's playing hard right now because they don't have Diggins Smith or Tarasi or Griner. And they beat Dallas 86-74. So they have to step up defensively, right? Because they don't have the offensive talent. So they have to step up defensively. And I think Chicago coming off back-to-back -back losses, they step up defensively as well. And therefore, I like the under between Chicago and Phoenix today, under 165. As it relates to the Pirates and Giants here, I'm going to surprise you. I like the Pirates plus the two runs. I think it's an opportunity for them to hang tough against the Giants. At this point, you're getting massive favorites, right, at plus 220 or so. Can the Giants really cover the big run, run line? The Pirates come off of a 0-2 loss, 3-5 to and 3-9. San Fran comes off back-to-back -back wins, 2 nothing and 5-3 the last two games. They did cover the run line in both games, but you know the Pirates have to show up at some point. And Zach Thompson went four innings, four hits, and two runs the last time. And he lost against these Giants, but he pitched pretty well. He went 4-5-2 and two against Arizona, 4-4-3 four, four, and three against Milwaukee. Um, so he's off of a loss, and he gave up three walks his last game. And typically when he gives up three walks, he has a good outing in his next game. So he should be motivated. 
Alex Wood went 5-6-4, five, and four, five innings, six hits, and four runs against the Pirates last time. He won, but the Pirates did get to him a good bit. And he did go 6-3-0 and oh against the Padres in his last game, so he pitched phenomenally, but he's notorious for letdowns. And therefore, like the Pirates, plus the two as an extra lean. That's what we have for you. Hope you guys are doing well. Take advantage of it now. Be sure to be sure to like and subscribe to the uh, video. Uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and be sure to jump on our YouTube Premium. Two great thoughts. We had a great YouTube Premium winner yesterday. Uh, we gave you uh, the Dodgers and Royals, and I think it hit in the third inning. And we're looking forward to that today too. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day.